In the US, the nuclear deal with Iran has become a presidential election issue, with candidates from both parties taking a stand on the matter. Democrat frontrunner Hillary Clinton laid the groundwork for the deal as Secretary of State. Speaking at the Brookings Institute, a liberal think tank, she had this warning for Tehran. The United States will never allow you to acquire a nuclear weapon. As president, I will take whatever actions are necessary to protect the United States and our allies. I will not hesitate to take military action. Speaking to Euronews at a rally against the Iran deal, Republican presidential frontrunner Donald Trump criticized other signatories to the deal for doing business with Iran before sanctions have been lifted. You look at Russia, you look at some of the other countries, they're selling missiles, they're selling nuclear, they're selling all sorts of things. We're not selling anything. We're not selling anything. So. Did you hear what ben Are you Carson? going to undo it How once you're in, in the White House? Uh, I will do things that nobody will believe are possible, and it'll be great for the people of this country, and it'll be great for our country. Another Republican candidate, Senator Ted Cruz of Texas, warned that lifting sanctions against Iran would simply give it more money that could end up being used against the West. If this deal goes through, over $100 billion that will go to Hamas and Hezbollah and the Houthis and radical Islamic terrorists, those billions will be used to murder Americans and Israelis and Europeans. Confrontation. Congress is due to vote on the Iran deal within days. The Iran deal is dividing the country like no other foreign policy issue in recent years. The debate ahead of the vote in Congress is just heating up. But the real vote on the Iran deal will be the presidential election next year. Stefan Grobe, Euronews, Capitol Hill.